Hey, what's up everybody? Chris Souders, Slender Cat Outdoors, and this morning we're getting the old sea arc loaded up and we're headed south. We're going to Gunnersville Dam first thing, catch some skipjack. Then we're gonna hit the Tennessee River for hopefully some big old blue cats. So let's do this. Let's get this stuff on the road. All right, folks, we got everything loaded up and we are headed south. We got about an eight hour drive. Um, we'll get there late this afternoon and uh, hopefully be able to go straight up to the dam and catch some fresh skipjack to fish with the next few days. So, man, I'm excited. It's been a while since I've been down to Alabama and uh, I'll be down there for a few days ahead of time of the Sea Arc tournament. Just doing some fun fishing and uh, videoing for YouTube. So, so let's hit the road, put the gas pedal to the floor See if we can't make up some time and catch some fish. All right, folks, we have made it. Uh, what seems like forever of a drive. A seven and a half hour drive ended up in, taking us like 10 and a half. Uh, ran into a bunch of wrecks and stuff, but nonetheless, we made it. We're safe. God has blessed us with a little bit of uh, daylight left so we're gonna go and try to catch some bait and i think i'm gonna oh man what a what a pothole i think i'm gonna actually try and fish through the night tonight so see how that goes All right, folks, we got a bunch of big skipjack and got a little bit of current. I got my bumping rod and uh, I'm gonna go out here in the dam before I go on down river and we're gonna try to do a little bumping. It's dark, it's a little dangerous right now, but we're gonna try it, take our time, put one of these big old hunks of skipjack on and get down through there and see if we can't, uh, see if we can't bump up a fish out of this dam. All right, so here's the bait that we're gonna use this is a monster monster skipjack head and i've got two hooks i'm gonna put the big this is a 10 knot and put it right through the the nose there we go then i'm gonna take this other one and i'm gonna put it right in the back and we'll try to get it to lay as straight as I possibly can. There we go. Like that right there. Now I'm going to start with a four ounce. I'm just going to drop it straight down beside the boat and we're going to see how that works. We're going about two and a half mile an hour. I want to try to stay in the current as much as I can. Now, as we walk our way out of the out of this dam, it'll get easier and easier. Oh, there we go. There we go. Oh, man. Oh man, what do we have, what do we have? Oh man, well he hit hard too, man, he just, just thumped that thing. Oh man, he's not even that big, he's just fighting hard. We got a bunch of current, now man that fish was hungry. He took a heck of a head. Come here, buddy. Oh, get up here. Put this old big cat fever bumping rod to the test. I 
I'll tell you what, that'll get the that'll get the skunk off the boat. Come here, buddy. Oh man. There we go. Yes, sir. I want you to look at the size of bait he took compared to him. Now that's probably a, a 15, 15 pound blue cat. I mean, he took a, a head off of a two and a half pound skipjack. There we go. Nice way to start the day. Fun one. Let's get him back, see if we can't catch another. Now I'm just dropping it down and I'm gonna let it hit bottom and then I'm gonna start picking it up and setting it down. And just, I'm gonna control the motor. Since I'm the only one bumping, I can control the motor and work with my speed until I figure out what they like. Now I'm not gonna spend a lot of time up here cause I'm by myself, but I wanted to see if I could bump any out of here tonight. I'll probably come back up here tomorrow when it's daylight and see if I can't get some more up out of here. Now see we're slowed down to 0.9. Now I got a got a four ounce sinker on and a big old piece of bait. Now that bait will pull on that rod and you know on that line more with that current the bigger the piece of bait the more that current's going to pull it back through there now, that's a tip for you guys if you're ever bumping in light current is to use a really big piece of bait or to add a float to it that will cause more drag and you can bump better a little quick tip for you while we're bumping down through here Smoked it again. We're gonna see if we can't get this one up. I'm actually gonna kill the trolling motor because I don't know how big he is or how small he is. He doesn't feel real big, but you never know until you get him up here beside the boat. Nice, nice blue cat. Look at the head on that joker, son. Oh yeah. All right, folks. There's one we just got in. 46. What a fight, what a fight. Let's get that bad boy back in the water. All right, let's see if I can capitalize on this one. So, so far I've caught one on camera, lost one on camera, thought I had the camera on, on the big one, missed two others, and we're hooked up again. 
This is definitely not a big one. They've cut the current all the way off on me. And uh, I'm actually just spot locked with a one ounce sinker walking it back through there. So this is definitely not, not a big fish. tell you what look at the appetites on these things look at that a yeah, little small one as they say boy he sure is pretty let's get him back Since they have cut the current basically off completely on me and turned this place into a lake, there are other methods that are more productive. So I'm going to get the planter boards out, get some other rods, and see if we can't do some drifting down through here. We got enough, we probably got enough that we can drift and use planter boards. So I guess what we're gonna try. We are hooked up. Now this come off of the float that was straight back behind the boat. I don't think it's a big, big fish, small fish, but uh, but I'll take it. I will take it after they shut this current down. He might be a little bit better than what I was thinking. Dude got the trolling motor on. So. Oh yeah. Oh, love it. I love the action of these medium heavy heavy. Ooh, he mad. Oh, oh man. He just seen the boat, boys. But we cut another nice one here. fat chunker that big old fat chunky chunky thing boy he choked us he choked that thing come here bubby oh yeah there we go <laughs> Thank you. 
Yes, sir. Look at that big old fat thing right there now. That one is a good one. All right, folks, one more look at him. 49 pound. Whew. <laughs> Let's get this big girl back in the water. She gone. Oh, yeah. All right, folks, it is time to go and get some sleep. So. Hopefully you enjoyed tonight. Uh, it was a quick trip. Got here this afternoon, caught some skipjack, caught some really good fish. And uh, now it's time to get some rest and do it all over again tomorrow. So hopefully you enjoyed today's video. Hopefully you learned something. Make sure you subscribe, hit that like button. Until next time, as always, God bless, tight lines, and we'll catch you on the water. See ya.